Hey people, I'm back again with another new video. Here today in this video, we'll be taking a look at a brand new open source Windows emulator for Android devices. This Windows emulator is known as Dark OS, and it is completely open source available on its GitHub page. It's just like Mobox or WinLater emulators that we tried. Anyways, this is a project designed to run Windows x86 64 applications and games in Termix native. It utilizes Box86 and Box64 to run Wine on Android. Installation process is same as usual. Download and install Termux, Termux X11 application, and also Input Bridge. There are some features. Native G streamer support for some games. Dedicated configuration app, and good thing is that many games will run without altering Box64 Dynarex settings. The configuration can be easily done from the Dark OS configuration app. And these are the requirements. It requires Android 10 or higher. And most of non-Snapdragon phones with Mali GPU support DirectX 9 titles. And the phones which are equipped with Snapdragon can support for Adreno 6 and 7 series GPU. With the optimal performance and compatibility with Turnip and DXVK, root is not required at all. And remember guys, it's still an early development stage. Anyways, let's head over to the code. Simply copy the code. Also make sure to install these applications. Open Termix app, paste the code and enter. And here it will ask you to confirm whether to keep you in existing data or emulators like Mobox or whatsoever. Then type N. If you want clean installation of this emulator, then type Y. Now tap on the enter and wait for a few seconds until the setup process starts. Once it starts setting up, you'll need to wait for four to five minutes based on your internet speed until everything is completed. Just like Mobox emulator, it will automatically open up. And now, all right, it's starting to boot. And finally, we are on the main interface. And here we have this PC, just like on our Windows desktop. Here we have some more partitions. When we open D drive, it directly displays the entire phone storage, which is actually pretty good. With other emulators, we only have access to the download folder to load Windows files. Other drives are same as usual. Okay, here we have Dark OS configuration tab opened. Here there are a lot of options and customizations on app itself. Here you can switch input bridge. Make sure it's already installed to detect. You can set GPU driver based on your phone's GPU. Also set DXVK version depending on the game you play. You can also install tweaks like apps, DLL and fonts. Also enable Mango HUD. Here apply changes and reboot. Okay, well, it starts to boot again to apply these changes. Okay, here I wanna cover some more things. Here there is a kill services. You can also update app here itself. Wine manager. You can also set different containers based on different wine versions. Debug mode. Now simply go to start. Programs. Select wine configuration. It will support up to Windows 11 version, but better consider Windows 7 or 10. And these are the installed libraries. The currently installed wine version is 9.2. Okay, anyways, here on wine manager, if you want to configure wine version, Simply choose the version. Select container. Continue and install. It reboots again. Anyways, let's try some games. The Stray Cat, which is based on DirectX 12 title and more intensive. Remember guys, this is still beta. May not be stable, so try to lower the version. You can expect some more tests in future. And one more thing to cover. Here we can able to configure custom environment and Dynarex settings, just like we did on Mobox. And this is the dark OS safe mode. If you face any errors or crash, you can directly configure some settings. Just like at Windows safe mode, you can set wine version, Dynarex settings, CPU boost, or whatsoever things. 
Anyways, that's it for today's video, guys. Hope you like it. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe. Also, if you missed our other emulator videos, check out links or playlist in description. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.